Hello everyone, this is Bivouac Jack and today we're going to do a review on the Golite Jam 2 Backpack. Now Golite is a company that's well known for making uh, equipment for lightweight uh, backpacking, people who do ultralight hiking and uh, trail running, that type of thing, and this is a good backpack for that. Um, on my scale it weighs 21.1 ounces, which means that it's one of the lightest backpacks that you're going to find made by a uh, major manufacturer. Uh, there are a lot of smaller manufacturers now that are making things lighter than this, but it is still a really lightweight backpack. Um, this is the large size, so it holds 3,300 cubic inches, which makes it a pretty good pack for weekend trips, three or four days. Uh, so let's start, and I'll, I'll show you some of the features of the pack. Um, as you can see, it consists mainly of one main compartment. There's, there's no lid on this pack. That's one of the ways that they save so much weight. Um, you can see there's just kind of a strap that goes across the top. Um, and here's your drawstring opening for the bag. Um, other pockets on the outside. There's a main or, or a bigger exterior pocket right here. It's got a water resistant zipper. This is a pretty good size pocket. You can store quite a bit in there, um, things that you want to access more easily. And then there's two water bottle pockets. Uh, this is kind of a stretch, stretch mesh. And these are a good size pocket. They will fit a uh, liter size um, platypus bottles. And, and also Nalgene bottles and that type of thing. So, so those basically three exterior pockets, one, one main interior compartment. Um, you can see there's two compression straps uh, on each side, a, an upper and a lower. Um, they have buckles. Um, and then we also have ice axe loop down here. And then here's the retainer up here above. There's two of those as well. Um, one of the cool things about Golite's packs is they use what they call the compactor system, which basically consists of this. Bring in so you can see there's a little hook right here at the bottom of the pack. Um, and that clips to this loop at the back, basically pinches the bottom of the pack together. Let's see if I can do this real quick. And you can see how that that basically reduces the volume of the pack. When you have those uh, both attached, that, that changes the volume of the pack to about 1,350 cubic inches. And so that allows you to use the pack as a day pack, which is a pretty nice feature. Um, okay, let's talk about um, the suspension. So this is a frameless pack. Um, there's basically just a piece of closed cell foam in the back here and that, that's really all there is and I'll show you what that looks like in just a second. Um, you've got your shoulder straps and you can see on the inside of this there's kind of a an aero mesh for ventilation which is pretty nice. And then the hip belt is just a fabric hip belt. There's no padding there. It's just a couple layers of fabric. You can see it's kind of sewn to have some shape to it so it will kind of cup right around your your hips. Um, so it's really a pretty basic streamlined pack. Uh, there's not a lot of bells and whistles. Um, like I said, it's a frameless pack, so you have to be careful about the way you pack it. Uh, it's not going to control loads as well as a pack that's got an aluminum stay in it or a plastic frame sheet or something like that. Um, but if you pack it right, you can you can carry um, decent sized loads comfortably. They say, uh, Golite says that this pack is, is rated to carry about 30 pounds. And I, I've used it for carrying about that much, and I think if you stay under that, you know, right around that weight, that it is a pretty um, comfortable pack. So let me show you on the inside. Let me pull this out. I just have that so you can see the shape of it. Um, I don't know if you can see on the inside but there is a pocket for a uh, hydration system which is nice and they have 
uh, exit ports for the hose on both sides of the pack. Um, there's also the, the uh, foam pad is removable. And I'll show you what that is like, what that looks like. So that is the, the suspension for this pack. Um, so you can see that, that you would need to be careful the way you load the pack if you want it to, to carry well, because um, that's all there is as far as that goes. Um, now let's talk about the construction of the pack. Um, this is a Dyneema ripstop fabric. This is a fabric that I, I'll hold it up so you can see that grid. This is a fabric that I really like. I own several packs that are made out of this fabric. Um, that white thread is, is a Dyneema thread, which is a fiber that's stronger than steel. So it's a pretty durable fabric for how light it is. Um, you can see on a recent trip that I went on, uh, we were hiking in southern Utah, and we uh, had to squeeze through kind of a uh, crack in the, the rock and you can see that I wore some holes if we get back close enough you can see that there's some holes worn through the fabric but you can see that they stopped where that where that white thread is that's a very cut resistant thread which helps helps that to be pretty durable fabric so I like that fabric uh, go lights craftsmanship construction is really uh, top notch so as far as that goes that's uh, a really durable pack for what it weighs. Um, so how, how do they get it to be this light? Well, we already talked about how they don't, there's no hood pocket. Um, there's no frame. Um, you can see this, this webbing is uh, thinner than what you'll find on a lot of packs. And just for an example, I'll have, bring a pack in here that we can compare it to. This is a Gregory Z pack. It's another pack a lot of people would consider to be a lightweight pack, but it's actually weighs twice as much as this Go Light pack. But just as an example, I'll put these two, the webbings from each of the packs side by side so you can kind of compare them. And the white wall so you can see. So you can see there is a difference in the width of those two. So that's another way that they, that they uh, are able to cut the weight down on this pack. But I haven't found that to be an issue. I mean, this, these straps are still plenty strong for what they need to do. Um, you can see that's the, that's the size of webbing they use uh, throughout the pack. So, overall, I would say that it's a, it's a really good pack, especially if you're into lightweight backpacking. Um, that there are a lot of packs you could find that are lighter. Uh, a lot of them would be made out of some really uh, thin and more delicate materials such as sil nylon or, or Cuban fiber or something like that. A lot of people that are really into ultralight packing will make their own backpacks and, and they can come up with things that are much lighter than this. But overall I think if you're getting started in ultralight hiking and you're looking for a good uh, ultralight pack, I think this is a good way to go. As always, if you have any questions about this pack or any of the other packs that I reviewed, you can go to my website at www.gear-post.com. And thanks for watching.